Bombardier has just opened its new $500 million Global Aircraft Assembly Center at Toronto's Pearson International Airport, marking the full transition from its production site in nearby Downsview. During an inauguration event on May 1st, the company celebrated the occasion with employees, their families, shareholders, and dignitaries. Over six months, Bombardier methodically transferred the lines from Downsview on the other side of the Canadian city, moving specific work centers, including all of the tools and all of the associated people in three-week cycles. The site at Pearson International Airport is only 19 kilometers away from Downsview, which is slated for redevelopment, so the company was able to retain its existing workforce. The reason why we chose Pearson Airports was firstly, um, it was the closest runway to our existing facility at Downsview. So obviously two and a half thousand employees you know, are important to us to build the aircraft and we had to make sure that you know, our resources, our skilled workforce was close at hand to support our new facility. The new facility was selected at Pearson you know, because the size of the facility, 40 acres, you know, is what we needed to build you know, the global family of aircraft. We left a facility that uh, was a 400 acre site. We only needed 40 acres and we wanted to create a building that was state of the art, but also had all of the global family under one roof and obviously in a single flow operation. We were already seeing great efficiencies in moving the line. Instead of it taking a whole shift, it's taking hours to move the line. It enables us to move our people within the same facility onto different programs. We also have a pre-flight hangar, a flight test hangar. It's a six position hangar. And uh, we also have a fuel pad where we can fuel up to three aircraft at a time. And then we also have a ground run enclosure as well where we can do high speed runs here on our property instead of going out onto the airport uh, land. The 770,000 square foot facility houses two production lines, flowing in a C-shaped configuration with assembly of the Global 7500 jet looping in an outer ring, and the Global 5500 and 6500 line in the inner ring. So the, the manufacturing philosophy here at the Bombardier plant is broken down into four specific areas. We have what's called large component handling, which allows us to bring our major components in, unwrap them, let them temperature stabilize, and prepare them for the assembly operation. Once we're ready to assemble, we bring them into the factory and we load them into our aerostructures area. The aerostructures zone incorporates those major components, puts them together, installs all the fasteners, does all the systems of the interfaces, and completes the installation of the landing gear. Once the aircraft are what we term as weight on wheels, then they become flexible, and we enter the test and uh, integration phase. During that phase, we test all the major systems of the aircraft to ensure uh, that they're all working properly. And at the end of that process, we do the aircraft closeout and inspection to ensure that the integrity and the quality of the airplane are built in. Once that activity has been completed, it's transferred into our pre-flight and delivery process, which is where we test the engines, the fuel system, prepare the aircraft for flight, do the pre-flight inspections, the flight test operation, and at the completion of the flight test operation, we then do the certification and delivery. The airplane leaves Toronto as a fully certified product with a certificate of airworthiness from Transport Canada. And then we ferry the airplane to Montreal where we install all the interiors for our customers and do the final paint job. The manufacturer takes advantage of automated robotics for joining the sections of the Global 7500 together. That robot, uh, what it does is it not only drills the holes, but it will ream, install sealant, install fasteners, all under 30 seconds per fastener, and it's a repeatable process. It brings what was traditionally a high impact, labor intensive job to a higher skill level. So now I'm hiring a robot operator, not just someone who's installing rivets as would be in the traditional build. Having all of the global aircraft production under one roof in this new facility has also been a benefit to morale. I see a change in our employees. I had a story given to me uh, a few months ago when we moved into the facility and a couple of the employees said to me, I've met friends and colleagues that I haven't seen for 20 years. And he said, it's like working for a new company. When you see people working together and sharing best practices, um, plus a little bit of competitiveness as, as well across the work centers, it's really good to see. You know, Bombardier, you know, and, and you know, the people that helped us build this building, they built a really nice facility. 
You know, we get a lot of compliments from our employees about, you know, the washrooms, the locker facilities, the offices, how clean the building is, how much space they have to work. You know, they feel they're working in a nice, clean environment and it's a pleasure to come to work.